my studies, man. I don't know why. I'm trying my best now, I really am. But you guys think he's too hard on us? I mean, he was pretty mean to the team the last time. The last time he tested him. Yeah, yeah, I would have heard. Don't we get to leave if the professor doesn't show up like 15 minutes after class starts? I'm like 100% sure that's a rumor every student has been falsely led to believe. But seriously, where is everybody else? Well, I mean, this is all our first class, and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't actually remember seeing anybody else when I came into the building this morning. Hey Sarah, is this your first class too? Yeah. Wait, how did it get so dark all of a sudden? Yeah, it's such a wonderful day. I mean, the lights are still on. You see that, right? I see that. Right? And, whoa, guys, wait. Was that there before? All right. Whose pasta is this, huh? Because that sure wasn't there before. Somebody must be pranking us, right? Do you see anybody else in the room, Trevor? No. How would one of us have put that up there without the other one seeing it? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I overslept again. Uh, oh hey, who brought the pasta? You. I bet you have something to do with this, you freak. You're the one that's all into murder and stuff. This must be your fault. What? I, I, I didn't do anything. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, guys, check your phones. It's not working. Exactly. I mean, I tried to call the cops, but I think the sound that Spaghetti was making, like, fried our phones. So the only way we can call them is by using the emergency phone downstairs in the office, but... I mean, who's gonna go get it? Go call the police on the emergency phone, then we'll let you back in. Sorry, freak. We decided that you should be the one to do it. One of them obviously got her, and I'm not sticking around to die here, so screw you guys, I'm out!
came back? I mean, you, you didn't die, but you didn't escape either, so... But, I mean, we were nothing but terrible to you, and you came back anyway? If I just decided to leave with what I know now, I wouldn't be any better than those remorseless plates of pasta that are killing us off. What do you mean, with what you know now? I figured it all out. I know what's going on, I know why this is happening. It was all right here in my journal. I had forgotten I had taken notes about this old book I read in the school's library several years back. This building was built over an old pasta factory and shop. I read and recorded it here how it went bankrupt because the owner, Sergio Argento, would only sell his pasta to those who put the finest sauces on it. But nobody did. And he went bankrupt and had to shut down. And so bitter about having to shut down, he put a curse on the land that his pasta would eventually take revenge on anybody that came here. Under normal circumstances, I'd think you were crazy. But given what's just been happening here, I believe you. But there's more. A plate of pasta appeared to me when I was trying to use the emergency phone in Ms. Falzone's office. And in desperation, I threw some pasta sauce she had on her desk at it. And it neutralized it. Mrs. Falzone is Italian, and that sauce was homemade. Think about it. The pasta was coming because Nobody was putting high quality sauce on it. That's how we stop them, by putting sauce on them. Okay, great. So, what do we do from here? Well, there was one more thing written in my journal. No, 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 there's, there's no time. We got all the info we need. But uh, how are we supposed to get sauce on that pasta before it kills us? Wait, I have an idea. I'm still, like, in shock over everything that just happened, but I know that if it wasn't for you, Sarah, I mean, we wouldn't be here, so thank you, and I mean, I'm sorry we ever treated you like we did. I'm just glad the four of us could make it out of there alive, although there's one thing in my journal that I'm still confused about. It mentioned something about how the curse would not let those who died by its hand be at rest. I wonder what that means.